Local church is devastated after one of their workers is killed and police say the suspect is her husband. The church told us he also worked there. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez live at the church tonight with more. Andres. My ministry um, healing is one of the things that God has called me to and so they gonna find you catch you sleeping whoa, whoa, whoa. stay woke Robert Lee Harris, who served as one of the pastors for Repairs Kansas City Church in Missouri, was sentenced on November 3rd, 2022 for life in prison with no possibility of parole for 50 years for the killing of his 38-year-old wife, Tanisha Harris. Now, this case happened back in January 8, 2018, and Tanisha's family finally received justice this past week. The history of this case started in Overland Park and police reported that about 4 p.m. on the day of the murder, they were called to the couple's apartment about a domestic disturbance. When they arrived, Robert was found alone in the apartment. He told police to report that his wife was missing and that he was worried. After officers realized there were red stains on the carpet and broken glass, they questioned Robert and became suspicious. Eventually, he admitted he had something to do with his wife's disappearance. They later found out that Tanisha's body um, was wrapped in a black garbage bag laying in a field a few miles from the house. The final autopsy revealed Tanisha had died by strangling and her body showed other signs of physical trauma. Authorities also stated that Robert spent the same morning of his wife's murder making trips to Walmart where he purchased a garbage can, plastic bags, carpet cleaner, and a um, filleting knife. The suspect, Robert Harris, and the victim, his wife, Tanisha Harris, first met here at this church where they did work together tonight. Members of this church are still struggling to come with grips with what's happened so far. This loss is profound and utterly indescribable. Pastor Carlton Funderburk is today working to comfort his congregation at Preparers Kansas City as they mourn the death of 38-year-old Tanisha Harris. Police discovered her body overnight in this Raymore field, miles away from her home in Overland Park. There's no way to even wrap one's mind around that, to even see that that would be in the realm of the possible. It doesn't seem real. It seems like a very bad nightmare. Police tell 41 Action News officers initially went to Harris's apartment Monday afternoon after her husband called to report a disturbance. He was home alone at the time. Hours later, the husband once again called police, this time to report Harris missing. Officers say they became suspicious of the 30-year-old man after their interview. During further questioning, he admitted to police he had a role in his wife's disappearance. At first, no motive was suggested early on in the case, but during the trial, jurors received testimonies from the family and church members, but one testimony from Stephen Nave brought up a lot of attention because he was romantically involved with Robert. Stephen shared that Robert arrived at his home about an hour after the police first came to his house. When he saw Robert, he appeared sweaty and pretty nervous. He went straight to Stephen's house after dumping Tanisha's car in a parking lot that was a few miles away from Stephen's apartment. Robert didn't mention to Stephen that Tanisha was missing or what he had done. The couple was only married for a year and had a long distance relationship prior before he relocated to be with Tanisha. Pastor Carlton Frederick, who we all probably know because one of his sermons went viral when he called his congregation pretty much broke and disgusting for not honoring him with a luxury watch. He had a few words to share about the couple. He said the couple was very involved with his church and he never saw signs of their relationship being in danger. He expressed that outside of church, Tanisha had worked at a bank and Robert worked at a hospital. They each had a daughter from previous marriages. The news about the couple is devastating for him and his church. Tanisha was described as loving and kind and she will do anything for you. She was a loving mother and a devoted, caring wife. And honestly, when I found out that they both had, you know, kids, I felt really sad because now they're both parentless. You know, you will never think a pastor would even murder his wife. And it looked like it was honestly premeditated. And that's very clear to me that, you know, Robert's heart was literally black. 
I am coming on. I've been impressed this morning to uh, pray for healing. Uh, so uh, as part of my ministry, um, healing is one of the things that God has called me to. And so I just want to spend just a few minutes with you uh, in prayer concerning healing. Um, I'm on my way to work, but um, I'm definitely going to pray today. So come on in the room. Um, come on in the room. Um, come on in the room. We're going to pray today because I believe God is going to heal you today because you have to make you have to make a conscious decision that you will be healed. And today is your day. I believe that today is your day for healing. So I'm going to pray. Um, so as you come on in, invite someone, uh, invite someone and we're going to pray. Uh, I'm not going to delay the time. Give me uh, just a moment. I'll set you there. It's just disturbing at this point but i'm honestly happy that tanisha's family received justice i pray they can find peace and healing now because this has been an ongoing case since 2018 so i'm glad to know robert will be um will be behind bars without possible parole this case just confirms that you need to be very cautious about who you choose to marry and honestly i'm realizing that the times nowadays it's getting darker and it's really the time to really just cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Start asking God to protect us. Start asking God to protect our loved ones, our babies. Because literally, if a pastor can go on and murder his wife, then pfft, at this point, titles and all of that means nothing at this point like being a pastor or you know oh she was a teacher or oh she was a nurse like none of that matters it's really about who you are behind closed doors and you know what's your heart looking like pretty much so thank you guys for watching this i really wanted to bring attention to this especially for tanisha's family because i'm pretty sure now they can at least rest i know that it's going to take more you know just some more time to probably heal but at least you know the case is done with and robert will be behind bars but i really just wanted to bring this case out here because it's just crazy comment below what you guys think um regarding this case please be respectful and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video they gon' find you, catch you sleeping. Ooh, stay woke, baby creep.